Hello, welcome to LEV Toys. We are continuing on with our modern day princess apartment for Belle. And so far we have made the bedroom and this is going to be the second floor or the loft area of her apartment. So I was really, really pleased with how the bedroom turned out. But there's still a lot left to build and I may have gone a little bit overboard with this custom build, but ha, who says it's overboard anyway. Right, bottom floor, let's start on well, we're going to need a kitchen and this is what our, well, this is where I'm going to start here with what we're going to need for the bottom floor. So the bedroom's going to sit directly above where the kitchen is. So with that in mind, let's, uh, well, let's start with the tallest thing in the kitchen, which is the fridge. And I'm trying to make different designs for all of these modern apartments for the princesses because they all have different personalities so I'm trying to also make sure that they all have a different fridge and they all have a different bathroom and different toilet there are only so many ways that I can think about to build these different things but this that's a challenge and I love a challenge so this is going to be the fridge for Bill and she's going to have one without a glass door like the others had they had this fancy glass door she's got one with a white door and I'm trying to pretend that this bit over here is actually like an ice dispenser or a cold water dispenser thing. I don't know how convincing it is on the side, but I think it looks pretty good and it breaks up all that white anyway. So this is going to be, oh, let's put the sink in first. Let's, let's not put the fridge right on the end. So we'll build our brick wall in a little bit and we'll put a window here above the sink and we can put the fridge in next to there. Well, that's gonna look really cozy. Okay, for the sink, let's think how we can fit a sink into this area. We're gonna just make all of this as small as possible. So this over here is gonna be the sink with a little tap, nice and easy, and a little oven next to it with a black cooktop. I actually tried to find four flat studs for the top. I couldn't, I could only find two. So we're gonna have the studs with the little bumps on the top, but well, that's fine. Just doesn't look quite as sleek and smooth. And on the side, we're going to have just a little bit of bench top where she can have her dishwashing detergent. Just for a little bit of detail, there we go. Okay, so sink's done. Oven's done, she's got a fridge. Now we're going to need a bit of storage area and of course up above is the best place for that because it just it makes use of the space that we have. So we're going to put some of these little, these car doors in. They're going to be like the shelf doors, which is now a cupboard, it's not a shelf anymore. <laughs> but on the shelf above, we're gonna put a whole heap of conserves and condiments and all those little jars and things that she uses regularly up here on the top shelf and we'll see what we've got. So we've got some dark purple stuff and some light purple stuff and some blue stuff. And we've got some honey. This is a sticker that came in one of the new uh, extra sticker packs, which is cool. And next to that, she's got some green stuff, possibly some pickles, love pickles. And next to that, she's got some strawberry jam. So her little pantry here is fully stocked. We're gonna put glass bricks behind so it just makes it nice and light. Add some extra light in at the top of the wall there. And the kitchen looks really good like that. Okay, all right, so we're going to extend the wall along further and this is going to be the last little wall bit in the kitchen. So let's put some more bricks in here or some more glass bricks in here, window and a little yellow one to make it like a little bit of a light. And we're going to put a door here and behind that is going to be the bathroom. Once again, there's not going to be a lot of space for the bathroom. We're going to have to be really tricky and clever. But before I put the bathroom in, there's this teeny tiny little pokey space that I want to put uh, put our wall up in. And then I want to put, yeah, actually, yes, look at that little space. Let's put a plant in there. When you've got a bare blank space, put a plant in it. Plants are so cheerful. So, of course, it has to be red, a red rose. And that's good. Okay, let's put some more glass above the bathroom door and some glass up here glass in fact lining all the way along the top because it's gonna be a little pokey area underneath the bedroom it's gonna be quite dark in there so the more glass the better now we're going to need some working area for the kitchen so a nice long table or bench bench top for her to do food preparation on and I thought because Belle's French right let's make this well, let's make let's put some of let's put some butter on some a fresh pat of butter not cheese <laughs> yeah and well it could be cheese you can make a cheese and a baguette here and a knife for cutting it up on our little hook down there 
Isn't that just, it's just so nice and rustic. And if we use this, we can actually put the breadstick on it. Kind of looks like it's floating in the air, but it means that the breadstick doesn't actually go anywhere. So if we line all of that around there, now we've got a tabletop where we can prepare, or we could tuck it behind when I put a wall behind, which is my plant, or we can just sit it on that little ledge there. Looks a little bit odd, but I don't think it looks too odd. So we've got a food preparation area over there. Ah, oh, that looks great. And Belle's coming in through the bathroom door. <laughs> checking to make sure everything actually works and there's enough room for her to maneuver around in here and it's looking good and she's oh she really wants to get into that breadstick but she has to wait because we need to build a bathroom over here so not a lot of space uh and we've got the stairs are going to come up here to the bedroom above uh okay right so we need a sink and a toilet and something to wash yourself in not the sink because that'd be too small. We're going to actually build the sink into the wall and that way we will make, we'll be able to have a bit more room. So if we have the sink like that and we put the wall here and we can put the tap off to the side, that actually conserves the space quite well. We'll put a yellow wall piece there, but I actually want to extend the floor just a little bit and I, you'll, you'll see why as I build along, but we, well, because we need more room for the toilet. <laughs> So let me just rejigger this a little bit and yeah, that's good. And if I had a mirrored piece, I'd actually put it above the sink, but I do have another mirrored piece I'm going to put somewhere else. So she won't be going without a mirror, don't worry. And this here is going to be her toilet flush button for the cistern. And I'm going to actually steal the toilet design from the new Lego Friends restaurant. So we're going to, it just means it's really flat to the floor, this design. Though it might look a bit odd because the one in the restaurant actually is sunk down into, like, kind of sunk down. And this just looks like it's flat on the floor. But you know what? I'm going to run with it. This, this, this actually will work quite well. And if I grab Belle, just make sure, see, she, it looks perfectly normal when she's actually sitting on it. it just looks a bit weird and close to the ground otherwise. <laughs> but there we go. Now we have used up this tiny teeny weeny bit of space there. Let's put some more bricks along the top and I'm actually going to just try and layer them so that they connect the kitchen area in to the bathroom area and get these glass bricks to go across the little seams and the breaks in the bricks so that the wall is as strong as it possibly can be. We're going to put another line of bricks along above too so we'll be able to hold all this nice and steadily. Now over here we're going to put a bathtub because you can't read books in the shower but you can read books in the bathtub and Belle is all about books so a bathtub it is and that's so many bees. <laughs> Goodness. And these curved pieces make just the most perfect little bathtub. And I've actually got, I think, yeah, we've got enough space there. I want to put a bookcase here that's actually going to separate the kitchen and the walkway from the bathroom right next to the bathtub. I've got all these smoothed over pieces so I can smooth the top of the bathtub too and get rid of all those exposed studs. Looks so cool. We'll put a bath mat down here and we will put Belle in here and she fits just perfectly perfectly it is the perfect size now have i got enough space here to do what i want to do i think i do <laughs> i hope i do so i want to build a bookcase like i said that actually separates the bathroom from the walkway in the kitchen and it's actually going to be under the stairs too kind of so it's going to be giving some privacy so let me see let's <laughs> Let's just put it together and hope that it works. That's the plan. We've got a little inward facing stud there to attach our little line of plates, which which if you saw the bedroom build, we're going to use that technique again to make a whole heap of plates look like books all lined up on the shelf. We're going to extend that along. We'll put a nice smooth one on the end and then we pop that on there. It's so clever. It's so simple and so cool. That's going to be, that's going to be our bookcase. Okay. And on the shelf of Above. So we're going to need a taller bit on one side for where the top of the stairs is going to be. I don't know if you can visualize this yet, but I've got a plan. We're going to leave some empty studs at the top to actually connect this to the staircase. It's the plan. We'll put a little jar up here just to fill in what's going to be an empty space. Otherwise, I don't like having an empty space. I think there should be knickknacks everywhere in this apartment. And this is where we are putting on that mirror that I said we had before. This mirror actually came out of the Disney castle and I have 
pinched it. I've stolen it from there because it now goes in Bill's, ah, Bill's, <laughs> Bill's apartment. I've put so many fingerprint smears on that mirror. We've got a bowl of cherries next to there. It's like a nice little walkway foyer display area and it's gonna fit so perfectly and she's gonna be able to reach books right from the bathtub. <laughs> this is like my dream. <laughs> Let's give her a book. See? That's actually that's a rubbish book. Let's move that one out of the way. Let's put one of the better book shaped book ones in. There we go. Look! She can read in the bathtub! <laughs> Oh, so cool. Okay. All right. Now, the next thing I need to do is actually put in stairs. So I'm not going to use pre-made stairs. We're going to build stairs for this section. They're going to be really substantial. So we're going to use glass bricks for the actual, well, the supports for the stairs. And then the tan pieces on top of them for the smooth stairy bits. And we're going to use these little upward angled pieces to actually make our well to add more support as it goes up this these these ones are gonna be really strong so let me see we'll put in our first few steps and then we're gonna see whether we can actually fit these over the bathtub this is my plan oh let's see if my plan actually works we'll find out so we've got you've got a little way up so look at this okay so it's gonna go on the base plate here and I think I think that if we Yes, she fits in just perfectly. She can sit with her head under the stairs. It is so snug. It's very tight, but it actually fits so, so well. Now, I know there's this blank piece of base plate underneath the side of the stairs. Don't worry. I know that's that. I have a plan for that too. I have a plan. It's a plan, Stan. Let's keep building these stairs up in situ and see how high up we need to get them to go. I think we might be another couple of couple of bricks still to go to get ourselves up onto the second level to eventually make our way up to the bedroom. So it's looking good and it is all looking nice and substantial. And those stairs look a little bendy because we're missing a bit of base plate down the bottom, but yeah, I know. <laughs> you know it'll all turn out alright in the end. <laughs> Let's check and see how much further we have to go up. We've got, yeah, I think another brick. I think another brick, another stair, another tread up. So we'll put some bigger ones here because I think that there this is going to be our top step. And once again, we want quite a lot of support for our second level. And this is where we're going to actually tie in our steps to our little bookcasey shelfy thing that we built before. So I told you I left that little stud free. That was for this to connect them up. We've got an outward facing stud there for a reason, which I think you can probably guess. If you saw the build of the bedroom, we're going to be putting something similar down the side of the steps here. And that is so cozy. And we fitted everything in and there's a bathroom. I don't know why I want to take a book away here. Have your book. Keep your book. Let's put our rose, climbing rose here, climbing down the side of the stairs. And... You know what? We could probably actually even use these climbing roses to angle them down a bit and give her just a little bit more privacy in the bathroom because we're going to leave this open so that we can actually play in it. Otherwise, it'd be silly. Just be entirely closed up. Right. We need another line of plates along here. and They need to be smooth with a couple of little bumps to be able to actually connect up the top level. So the second floor to actually hold that bedroom in place onto the bottom floor. But you don't want too many, obviously, because otherwise you won't be able to take it on and off. And I want to be able to take it on and off. And I don't like this here because I haven't connected the actual bathroom to the kitchen. It's all wobbly. So if I just move some of these around, I'm pretty sure that I can get it all nice and strong. We'll put a two here and a three here. And now we're all connected up. <gasps> so cool. Okay, let's check this out. So this is going to go up here. The stairs going to come up. It's all going to connect on just on those jumper studs there. Awesome! That's so good. Now you can see that the front of this is really, really, really dodgy. <laughs> We're going to need a lot of support here. Actually, we're probably going to need some extra support underneath the top level too. So I'm going to need to add that. And we'll take Belle out because I wanted to come in and check out her new kitchen too. She can finally have some of that bread, I think. Because we've still got the lounge room and the library and a very special place for her to actually read planned for her apartment. So 
I haven't finished it yet, but I will finish it soon. I know, I know you hate waiting, but customs actually take quite a long time to plan and I like everything to be just perfect, exactly the way I see it in my head. So that takes quite a lot of, a lot of time. So we're gonna leave Belle in the bathtub. She's back in here, she's getting wrinkly. The neighborhood cat has come to visit and oh, I will be back with the last part of this custom build very soon. So make sure you don't miss it. You've got to make sure you've subscribed and click the little notification bell. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think she still needs in this apartment or what you think I might have been able to do better or differently. And I will be back with the rest very soon. I hope. <laughs> See you then. <laughs> Bye.